Step one, of course, is to turn off the breaker or electrical to the unit itself. And then you got to get that little door off. It's got a couple screws on it and that exposes your capacitor. I'm going to change the capacitor. We've got one right here. It's pretty simple. Should you should we hit the breaker on it? Or? Oh, you did. Oh, you did? Oh, thank God. Pull that lizard out. All right, but those capacitors still have a, a charge in them, don't they? Yeah, they hold a charge. So you've got to be careful even when you're, you know, when you've got the breaker off it, it you could get shocked, couldn't you? Yeah, it can. Yeah, I think the compressors are no pump though. Yeah. Now, whoever put this in for you guys, did they, um, did they, uh, war did they register this unit? I don't know. Dude, dude it was, uh, guys that were doing work around here. Oh, uh, okay. So I have no clue. Uh, I mean, I, when it first fucked up, I had him come out and fix it. Yeah. And, uh, but then it, I had to have you go out and fix it. So... Hopefully this will work, huh? That's what I'm hoping. Cross your fingers. We just changed the capacitor. I hope it's not the compressor. Holy crap, that would suck.